Israeli-born Jew, that my family survived the Holocaust. It's an incredible pain and very difficult for me to keep watching Israel committing war crime, crime against humanity, crimes against the Palestinian people, and now the Lebanese people. What we need to remember is that Israel was born in a scene. 1948, the Al-Nakba was a, was a war of ethnic cleansing, of grabbing land by force and cleansing it from its inhabitants, the Palestinians. Not, not only it was never ever redeemed or dealt with, but Israel consistently and persistently have been continuing this strategy, continuing grabbing more land. 1967, the whole historic Palestine between the Jordan and the Mediterranean Sea has been taken by force. Now, at that, at that time there was no ethnic cleansing to speak about and the people have been occupied and oppressed since then. Israel wants land but Israel does not want the people on the land. The Zionist ideology is calling for a state of Jewish people only and we need to understand that. So by taking over land in Lebanon, we have to remember that Israel has got to get out of Lebanon. As was mentioned, as is mentioned recently, the model of the Golan Heights where Israel cleansed all of the Syrian population there and that occupation has been going on relatively quiet, no resistance because there are no people there anymore. This is the model for southern Lebanon. Israel wants to get all the part uh, south of the Litani River. Israel needs these water sources, Israel wants this land and Israel needs to get out of there. No UN resolution should be acceptable without Israel totally, totally getting out of Lebanon. We need to demand reparation from the Israeli government and the US government to pay Lebanon and the Palestinian people and we need to call for full right of return for the Palestinian refugees and the Lebanese refugees now. Thank you very much.